Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com, and you're tuned into another mid-month energy report for our Patreon subscribers. I'd like to welcome everybody that's joining us for the first part here on YouTube as well. Now, I've got lots of things to cover, so let's just jump right into it. Now, I've been busy lately packing. I'm moving. I'll be moving off the key starting probably the end of the month. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. Not sure where I'm going, uh, but I've been selling a lot of stuff on Craigslist and uh, Initially, I entertained the thought of possibly having a roommate here, but there was just issues with parking and then guest passes on top of that. They're pretty strict about that stuff here, so I'm probably just going to find some place. I've looked at one place locally, and uh, it's about five miles from the beach and costs a lot less than what I'm paying here, and uh, that's probably where I'll end up or... Who knows where, but it's not going to be here for much longer um, and it's all good. So that's one of the things I've been doing. Another thing I've been doing, check this shirt out. This is uh, one of the shirts I made tie dyeing. I see a fox here. You can see the ears, the eyes and the nose right here. I see a fox in that one and it's pretty cool when you tie dye and you do certain folds, you end up with faces. I've had tie dyes with angels in them, hearts, and various beings. I have this one where it looks like the person's meditating cross legged, and then their chakras coming up from their meditation pose. So it's really cool. So, what I ended up doing is through my hobby, I have this website and it's actually so easy to find and remember it's called n5d.net if you go to n5d.com you'll find a link right here at the top of the page and there's one in the menu bar too where right here n5d tie-dye apparel so if you click on that you'll be brought to n5d.net and here's the home page for it and every day what I end up doing is I'll put today's new tie-dye shirts up or at least some of them so you can get an idea. Now, for example, today, let's go full screen. Today I added two XL shirts to our collection. So these are both two XL and I'll be adding XL soon, but we also have small, medium and large. And these were just some of the ones that I made. This is an ice dye, which is a different technique, but it gives you such a cool pattern. And here's from uh, some from yesterday and that was our ice dye from yesterday i call this one beacon of light and i'm going to do some yellow ones like this and i think it's going to be so cool here's something also spiritualist rosie neal dear friend of mine she's written quite a few articles on in5d.com and uh it's just a, a wonderful being full of amazing light this is what she said about the t-shirts. I personally think you just stumbled upon a very sacred gift for anyone that wants to receive the energies. The shirt you wore to my home last Friday emitted a very powerful frequency. It was your own signature resonance frequency. This takes it all to another level because of your level of awareness, heart-based expansion. Adding crystals just is a game changer, and it opens an entire new paradigm. 99.9% .9 Siesta Key Quartz Crystal Sand, Love and Positive Energy, pre-washed with synthethol, Synthropol, and soaked for 30 minutes in soda ash before dyeing. Shirts are rewashed in Synthropol after dyeing. In this process, I add a white t-shirt to the wash to ensure that there is no dye left over on these shirts as always wash with light colors. So here are just a few more that I've done. This is the shirt I'm wearing right now as a matter of fact. 
what I do is when I take these pictures too, I, I use a flash so it brings out all the vibrant colors. If you ever have your picture taken um, and somebody has a flash on, you're going to see all those vibrant colors coming out. But these are just some of the many shirts. I believe that's another ice dye right there. And then there's an ice dye and the rest are basically traditional. There's an ice dye and I may or I don't remember if that one was an ice dye or not. Here's just some more funky ones that I have, but I have dozens of uh, shirts on here. So check it out at n5g.net. What I end up doing is I click on the shop. If you want to see the most recent shirts that are uploaded. So click on shop and then default sorting. Click on the down menu there, sort by latest. And you'll see the latest shirts that have been uploaded to our shop and just check back every day because I am always uploading new stuff and these are just some of the many shirts that we have we have four pages of them in all various sizes also you might want to search right here under a category you can search just shirt sizes like here's all the large shirts that we have Or you can, shirt, uh, you can sort it by the type of shirt. If you want a tank top, a uh, medium tank top, you can choose that. But have fun with it. So I've noticed that there's been a lot fewer chemtrails lately. Instead of what they were doing beforehand, which is expanding and just getting huge, something's different. Something's going on. And I just thought I'd bring that up. In the past, what we used to have was those chemtrails that would just keep expanding and, and expanding, just making that milky colored sky that would perpetually seem to stay there for forever. But that's just one of the things I've noticed. Let's get moving on though into our mid-month energy report. Now, there's a few things I'd like to talk about. The first thing I want to bring up is this video and it's entitled alien space station found at orion constellation and this video was put out by et database so let's play just a little bit of this here is orion's belt right there and you come up to the top area right here and this is where you're going to find it okay let me take off those red lines right there Okay, now right over here, you see something else. It's very small. Come down there, zoom in, and you get this giant blue space station. What is that? That is just crazy cool. So when I was looking at this picture, it looks like origami. You can clearly see a pyramid type structure right here. And then what, what looks like a, perhaps a flattened out pyramid right here and a pyramid that's been somewhat maybe inverted right here. And when you look at all those different pyramids with that object being in Orion's belt, which aligns with the pyramids on the Giza Plateau, is it just coincidental? or is it something more you decide so what i'm going to be doing let's cut over to our next video i'm going to be covering this and much more on our in 5d patreon version of our mid-month energy report for august 2019 but i just want to bring this up uh, for everybody on on youtube this is a video from the Suspicious Observers YouTube page entitled Record Galactic Waves, Dead Planets, Electric Space, and so on. But the part I really wanted to cover are the record galactic waves. And I'll be talking about this in the mid-month energy report for August 2019 on our N5D Patreon page along with the galactic superwave theory by Paul LaViolette, the cosmic wildcard. 
of all the events that could possibly happen in the next who knows when <laughs> but upcoming and how these energies are affecting us so if you haven't joined us yet on our n5d patreon channel please do and i want to thank everybody for joining me here on youtube uh, for this mid-month energy report what i'll be doing is i'll be playing as i have been doing in my past videos the extended version of our bumper music that's a song that i made up for my daughter years ago for her birthday sleepover and I, well, I put this song together and I thought that they could put lyrics to it. It'd be fun for them to do something like that. And they ended up having so much fun that they never got around to putting lyrics to it. And so I'm sitting there thinking, I've got this song. What am I going to do with it? So I started putting it in my videos and now it's basically the official in 5D video song, but I'll be playing that so we can hang out and chat here on YouTube for an additional five minutes or so. So once again, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, click the like button, share, make sure the bell notification is selected and uh, hang out and chat with us for a little while. And if you're watching this on the recorded version, uh, check out the chat replay and see what people are talking about. So until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from in5d.com. Namaste.